where you got your own chair now. Daddy's got his own recliner, and you got your own recliner. I know. Life is good, ain't it, Rooster? Good morning. Welcome to Washita Mountain Living. And by living, I mean that's what we're trying to do. Stay living. Well, this morning is the first morning in three weeks that I've came back out here to do my morning workout. I guess I've just been too wimpy and it's been too hot. I'm about halfway through my walk. I don't go crazy on this because, you know, I got bad feet and bad knees, but we're going to make them better. So I thought today I would just film my workout. I know a lot of people are motivated by what I'm doing. And that's a good thing. I, I got to get out of the habit of grabbing those and get my arms working. I should have grabbed my dumbbells. We'll add that later. We're, this is the first morning in a few weeks. I am down 46 pounds. I know. Probably doesn't. To me, I can't tell. I just can't tell. I know others can tell. I've seen people in the grocery store. They say, wow, you lost weight. But I, I mean, I ain't seeing it. I feel it, but now that we're adding our work up out back to the situation, it should get better. Let me step this game up again. This is my top speed for now. I got about a quarter mile to go here, guys. We'll just then we're going to hit this machine over here that I've never never touched, other than getting it in the door. So, at a guy, can a guy my age? almost 60 put on big good muscle tone what do they call that now shredded I don't know that I'm looking to get there but I definitely got the build for it I mean I was very muscular in my younger days uh, I did boxing I was in all that man I was a drill sergeant I used to run I would have my platoon running and I'd run around them as they were running. That's how good a shape I used to be in. I don't think I'll ever get back to that. But uh, I can tell you, I know the difference. I feel the difference because when I walk down to my mailbox and come back, it's straight uphill. Oh, I could never do that without having to stop and rest. I don't have to do that anymore. I'm not out of breath. I'm not even out of breath walking on this. Uh, now, as fall, as we get into fall, I'm going to take this walking part outside again. It's just more enjoyable than standing here on this machine. Whoo! Now, if you're doing carnivore, it's important that you get your electrolytes. And so I just ordered this stuff. Uh, I'm not promoting this or anything. It's called keto chow it's electrolyte and it's drops what I do is when I make my one tall glass of iced tea I'll pour some of this in there it's kind of salty so I put a little lemon juice in there to to help even that out I'm not a big fan of lemon juice in my tea but you know that gives you the the stuff you need man anxious to get on that machine and start working the old guns getting the chest worked out the legs we're just gonna play around with it this morning I don't even know what I'm gonna be able to do because of my back but you know what we're gonna try it uh, I'm not gonna be complaining about backs or any of that anymore that I can already t man I was walking around uh, where was I Walmart the other day and I couldn't believe how light I felt on my feet you know losing 50 pounds that's a lot of weight man that's like a big bag of dog food carry one of them around uh, but it makes a difference. My feet do, do not hurt as bad as they w once did. 
My knees are certainly feeling the difference. Whew. And this this treadmill doesn't have all the, it's it, it's got uh, an app you can get on there, but it, the same things on here. So we're almost at about a half a mile already. And that's all I'm gonna do for today. Let's start warming down. Then we'll go play with this machine a little bit. Yeah, it's important don't just stop slow it down gradually let your heart rate catch back up hey guys i'm you know i'm what am i 96 days now into this and i'm by far no expert i get my education from youtube like a lot of us do now but there is some good information out there and there's some bad information out there but you ain't gonna find a whole lot of bad things I, I've noticed a few bad things I've seen about carnivore is those people are still fat so they gave up they cheated they didn't stick with it uh, oh it did this well you're gonna go through some changes when you do this it, it ain't you just don't start it and feel things start to change and some of those things may not feel too good Personally, I didn't have any anything really happen to me. I started feeling good right away within a week. <laughs> Less than that, probably. So, I don't believe when, when the good outweighs the bad, you got to start believing the good. I say just try it 30 days. Uh, you know, make sure that you don't have any special circumstances like pacemakers or things like that. You need to talk with your doctor, but if you talk to your doctor about doing carnivore, 90% of them, 95% of them, are probably gonna tell you it's a bad idea. Yeah, that's because they want you unhealthy. But if you've got certain problems, if, you, if you're fighting cancer or you got, I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but I would say use caution as any kind of a lifestyle change, uh, especially if you've got already an ongoing medical problem. All right, let me wind this down a little more. It's a nice, cool, rainy morning. Once I shut this off, you should be able to hear the rain. Right, let me do a few high steps and get stretched out here. Well, I do feel good though. All right. When I first got on this thing a couple months ago, uh, I did a half mile the first day and I stopped this thing and I was dizzy. I mean, I had to stand here and hold on to these dudes because I wasn't used to this. Uh, so it helps to kind of look around and, you know, just, just think in your mind you're walking on pavement or whatever. All right, let's, uh, let's go over here and get set up. Okay, I don't know which one I have hooked up. I guess that. Boy, that's... That's not very much weight. An ugly three-year-old could do that. All right, I have not even looked into what I'm doing here. I don't know how to work that yet. Let me add some more weight, because I am a grown man, you know. Not go crazy. I don't know what these are, 10 pounds each, something like that. 15, uh, they're, they're probably 15 pounds each, so we got like 45 pounds on now. All right, let's, uh, let's see what we got. Uh, I want to do some curls, and this seems to get in your way. I got to learn this machine. I don't know what I'm doing. So let's take this bar off and put it down there, because the curls are what I want to do right now. And I think I got to get on this side to do these things. I don't know, man. It's got the instructions right there, but I haven't went over them because I don't, I don't prepare. Okay. Let me hook this up real quick. And we can get knocking out. All right. Now, I believe what you do is come over here. 
I may have this bar upside down. I think I do. Oh, darn rookies. Man, it's been... <laughs> put it this way, guys. When, when I was working out in the gym, these kind of machines were just coming out. We just use free weights. Medicine balls. Okay. Right, if I'm going to curl, I guess I want it like that. Probably exactly how it was. I don't know. Get in there. Alright. And does this thing adjust? It does. Well, how's it adjust? I think it goes down or more. What? What's it do? Okay. Guess that was it. This ain't very fun, is it? Well, I never. Okay. Right now, let's uh, let's just invent our own. You know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't feel right. If I stand up, that's... Okay, I need to be on that side. What do you gotta be, man? Like Bigfoot or something? No, that's gonna hurt my back, man. I don't know what I'm doing there. Alright, I'll tell you what. This whole video's a flop so far, isn't it? Well, you're learning. You're seeing my learning curve. Okay, I think if we put this here and go on the outside over here, I need to clean this room up. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, it shows the dude. I don't know what the dude's doing. Well, that seems like it's doing something. Alright, feet apart. Probably doing absolutely no good. Y'all see anything happening? And my muscles getting bigger? I can tell you this right now. If all the weights, if I'm using all the weights in this, I'm one tough dude. Because I only got three of them on out of about ten and it's pretty heavy. Oh, it tells you right there. I think. All right, let me look. What kind? Well, there's all kinds of exercises you can do. Okay, so that's what I was doing. Oh, you got to be up inside there. Take this thing off. Okay, that makes sense. Come on out there. I could mount that in my truck somewhere. Uh, you, you're gone. That didn't feel right being in the way. Oh, look here. Now you can get your legs up in there. Oh, yeah. Slow is the key. Is my diet over yet? Why don't you have the fan on, dummy? All right, that one's no fun. What does this one do? How do you get your hands up in there? Okay. I see. He's holding them like this, and he's pushing forward. Let's try that one. That one looks fun. I ain't never had to have reading glasses to work out before. That's... <sighs> okay. Well, hell, how do you get your hands back in there? This is what I need, the chest. Oh yeah. <sighs> Exhale when you exert the force. <sighs> this machine is 
gonna be worth it wow am i feeling it already it goes back a long way wow get out of there my hands broke it's twist it's stock Let's look at this dude and see what else he wants me to do. AI dude, why can't this be AI and tell me what to do? Okay, I see what he's doing. I see what he's doing. He's sitting on his bench and he's got this deal behind his neck. Okay, let's try that one. And he's got his hands here. There you go. That's for the old deltoids biceps I guess I could actually use more but you don't want to start out with too much weight I'll show you these man boobs I'm dealing with in a minute here because I want you to see when they're gone what I had to deal with it's horrible but they are going down I can feel it I can see that but they're terrible. No man wants man boobs. Boy, do I feel the burn there, right around the, in between my, down from my neck, right in between there. So anyway, not a pretty sight, but these, man, look at that. That's man boob right there. They were a lot bigger. They were coming into here. And it's stuck. It's it's all loose now. It's all loose. <laughs> all right. We got we got to get there, man. I'm not pretty. <laughs> Let's do another wrap of them things. Uh -huh. How'd that go? What if I put my hand up? He had his hands this way. Try to keep my neck. My head forward. I don't know how many things this thing does. Fifteen different exercises, enough to where you can rest one day, one part. You know, you're doing one exercising your legs or something one day, and then you can rest them the next day and work another part of your body. Man, let's let's try these. Let's see. Is these already hooked up. Now how's How's a man? Let's see, this is my what might hurt my back. I think I need my... Okay. Would help if you didn't have shop vac and blower and boots in your way. Feel that really good right here, man. See, my legs really never did get fat. They just, they used to be a lot more toned than that. Woo, I feel it. I am so out of shape. You don't realize it. Do you put the test to it? All right, I need other things to work my chest. I really gotta get, tell you what I'm going to do until I figure it out is is the old dumbbells uh, and I don't know why but I've noticed that my left arm is a lot stronger than my right arm so when you do curls you just want to do them real slow and kind of hold them where where the resistance is. I know I'm not, I'm not all in the camera. I got the funny camera over there. Let's look and see. Let me get my glasses on. Where are the curls, man? Okay. Oh. 
Oh, seated bicep curl. Okay, we got. I'm gonna show you this one. This is the one I need. Where's that thing? Put this back in. Y'all bored yet? Now this is adjustable. Let's try it on the higher, higher setting. Seated bicep curl. Now I may have to. Oh. oh. Okay, I was holding this thing wrong. Well, now I do need to lower this. I know this is like the three stooges going on here. Let's put that back down. Ah. Boots, you need to get out of my way. Alright guys, do this real quick. Put this bag on real quick. Ah, oh, you boots. Boots are made for walking, so walk your butts out of here. Okay. Now we got her set. So what it's telling me is to get right here. Well, I do got to put this down because I ain't got Amazon arms, man. Well, it is all the way down. I'm going to tell you, you know I'm doing it for the first time because I don't, well how do I get that? Uh, okay, bicep curl, maybe you just, uh, uh. <laughs> now I'm stuck with my glasses on. Oh yeah. I feel the burn. I know, I'm being goofy. Working out ain't a joke. Ooh, does that really hurt? Oh, hurting's good. I'm documenting this because I want to see how much of a hard time I had in the beginning. All right, what else have we got? Let's do a few more of these chest pushes. I see there's pins there that will allow this to go inward. Okay, we'll do that here in a second. I'm trying to avoid certain you know lifting exercises that involve my back that's why this machine's great because I can sit and do stuff like this now what I'll do in the future is draw me a piece of paper with these exercises and how many reps I'm doing and do them on a daily basis so let's see if we can't pull this pin And then see what these do. Now these should come in. And I don't know how you're supposed to hold them. Let me look. Listen to that rain, guys. Okay. Well, where's it at, dude? Okay. Pectoral butterfly. So he's just got his arms. Uh, yeah. That's what he's doing. Okay. It's a boob pincher. That's what it is. Look at my boobs. That's how you get rid of man boobs. Huh? This could use, this is where my strength must be because this could use more weight, but we're starting out slow. Oh yeah. It's kind of addictive, guys. It hurts. It's not easy. What if you do it that way? Bet there ain't no law against that. Yeah, 
I like this one. Look at that big swimming pool noodle they put on there. That's to keep your hands comfortable and your arms. All right. I'm feeling burning in my legs now. My arms, my shoulders. I think for the first day, we're going to call that good. It wasn't a very long workout, but I'm making a video, man. I can't make a movie out of it. The rain's picking up. And I am going to get out in the shop today, finish them work benches. Made a few decisions over the last few days of what to do out there. Uh, it's not going to be as dramatic as it was, but it's going to be cool. So, if you are interested in the carnivore lifestyle, I will be posting pieces of this through my journey. And at the end, I guess, you know, we're going to take a, we're going to take clips of all the videos and do a progress, progression video. That would be cool. That would motivate me. That's going to motivate others. I tell you what, I put a short out about doing this and it's very popular. I put on a whole lot of subscribers over the last week. So there is an interest, and if there's an interest, then I'm going to cover it. So, everybody can stand to be a little healthier. And this isn't hard, man. It's so easy, and you look forward to eating every day. So why not? That's what I say. Why not try it for 30 days? Once you see what it does in 30 days, you're going to be, you'd be, you'd be a fool not to go back. Or, you know, to go back to what you were eating. Huh? But, like I said, I'm not going to force this down anybody's throat. But I am going to document some of it because people are interested. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Happy trails. And just remember that. That ain't nothing right now.